Hello, welcome and thank you so much for joining me in this another Doug the Gardener video. Today in this fairly short video I'm going to talk about reversion in plants. So what is reversion? Well it's when a plant reverts back to its natural true genetic state. In other words it reverts back to what its parents looked like, usually plain green with no variegation or colour change. This is not an actual disease so there is no cure and yet it will probably affect maybe one or two plants in your garden at some time or other. Let's go back a bit. Nursery people and gardeners alike are always looking for new variants of plants and the norm would be to breed these by cross fertilization. In other words by pollinating one flower with the pollen from another. Seed would be harvested and sown, the plants grown on, and maybe out of several thousand or even several hundred thousand, only one might be different enough to be of interest. This would then be propagated vegetatively by cuttings, meaning that each new plant is identical to the parent. In other words, it's an identical clone, and this method of propagation results in stable, identical plants for years to come. Sometimes the plants themselves, without our help, create genetic variations spontaneously, and this is called a sport. This will probably be a branch with some sort of interesting variation which we can take a cutting of and propagate from. So let's consider one example of how this may happen. Perhaps in the nursery there are several thousand green privet growing from cuttings. They are all identical, and out of all of these, a single solitary branch on one plant looks different. It might be variegated or golden. So if we take a cutting of this and grow it on, then all of its offspring will be the same, golden or variegated. So far, so good. The problem arises from the fact that the genetic material which makes up the new plant may not be stable. After all, it was a genetic glitch that gave us a colour variation in the first place. So this is where we come across the problem called reversion. The new variant can be prone to reverting back to its parental form, usually plain green. This happens quite often when the plant is put under stress, say for example under drought conditions. Well, what can we do? Well, if the plant is relatively small, then cut out the reversion all the way back to a branch which is variegated, and hopefully you will have removed all of the reversion. We used to have to do this in the garden centre occasionally, and to be honest, most of the time we only did it once or twice. But, and there is always a but, the plant may still try to revert and throw out one or two more green shoots. So, some of these sport varieties are more prone to reversion than others. And these pictures show one or two examples that I've come across in the past year or two. Unfortunately this Acer, Acer Drummondii, which is one of my favourite Acers, is quite prone to reversion. It's a real shame as it's probably the best variegated Acer grown today. So if you don't keep removing the reversion, what happens? Well, this can be seen in this picture. The green part of the plant is usually the strongest grower, as it contains more chlorophyll, so therefore it is more vigorous than the variegated or coloured part, and it eventually swamps the rest of the plant, and soon all you will have is simply a green plant as seen here. Chlorophyll of course is the compound in most plants which absorbs light converting it into energy, and we call this process photosynthesis. As I said at the beginning, reversion only happens in a few garden plants, and indeed in some house plants as well. Not all variegated plants grown from sports variants revert, but it is worth keeping an eye on certain species, as they seem to be more prone to reversion than others. I hope you found this video interesting and enjoyable. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to Doug the Gardener. Thanks again and goodbye.